as an educationist, a visionary, and a leader. In collaboration with Alamin Arts Science Commerce College and Alamin Law College. Now, just before me, Dr. Sharma Akhtar Vasi Sahab has spoken on the life and achievements of Dr. Mumtaz Ahmad Khan and his personality. We have to remember that our elders who laid the foundation stone for any type of movement should be remembered and they should be, their vision should be shared and carried forward. No doubt, Dr. Late Mumtaz Ahmad Khan Sahab was a visionary and dedicated his life for promotion of education among all sections of society, in particular Muslim community. It is important to study the life of visionaries, their vision and achievements, the difficulties they have encountered as well as their contribution to the overall development of society. Such seminar and discussion can help the future generation to commemorate and learn from these personalities and their life and remember their legacy. Him closely having worked with him for more than three decades. Dr. Mumtaz Ahmad Khan hailed from Trishnapalli, Tamil Nadu and his parents were deeply involved in social service. They brought Dr. Mumtaz Ahmad Khan by inculcating in him the values of service which something that they themselves were engaged practically in particularly Dr. Mumtaz Ahmad Khan's mother, Sadhusun Nisa in whose name this college has been made. After completing his medical education, Dr. Mumtaz Ahmad Khan wanted to continue his medical practice by shifting from Trishtha Pandey to Bangalore. His wife is from a well-reputed family of Bangalore. When he came to Bangalore, the principal of Jamal Muhammad College, where he studied mentioned to him that despite Bangalore being a big city, there was no Muslim-run first degree college in Bangalore. This issue and took the initiative to discuss the matter with student like-minded people, including then Mrs. Abbasia Begum Mekki, then MLC, Mr. Adish, uh, uh, Abish Sharif, a social worker, Ismail Sharif Sahib, a retired IAS officer, and some other, and established an organization in the name of Alamin Education Society. Alamin Education Society was established in the year 66. Mrs. Abbasia Begum Mekki and Abhi Sharif were the founder, chairman, and secretary of the Alamin Education Society. Being MLC, Mrs. Mekki had influence in the government and so the society was able to get permission to start arts, Alamin Arts, Science and Commerce College, to establish an education institution having an appropriate physical location is very important. In this regard, Dr. Muntama Ahmad Khan's father in law side played a very important role. They came, they came forward to hand over a, a, some land of Dr. Muntama's Dr. Mumtaz Ahmad Khan, a bungalow then to start the college. The college started in a bungalow of Dr. Mumtaz Ahmad Khan's father-in-law in Kalashi Pali. In the beginning, Dr. Mumtaz Ahmad Khan faced considerable difficulty. 
in establishing the college. The college had no funds even to pay salaries for the staff, but he struggled. He never gave it up. I mean, the difficulty he encountered in the beginning to establish start the college without any fund is a very difficult task. It is now nobody came forward at that time. He has to struggle. He has to borrow. He has to put in his own money. Gradually. However, several individual team teamed up with Dr. Mamtaz Ramana in his effort to get the college going and extended their support in mobilizing donations to run the college. Till 1972, the college faced huge financial constraints. Later, when Mr. S. M. Yahya became the education minister, he included Elimin College for being eligible for the grant and granting aid for the first time. Numerous Muslim leaders, such as Mr. Aziz Said, Justice Akbar Hussain, Mr. Muhammad Ali, then Minister in Karnataka, and several other prominent people, extended their moral support to Dr. Mustafa Ahmad. Mr. Aziz Said, who then was the Minister for Labour and Work, lent his support to Dr. Mustafa Ahmad Khan in the early period of the Lemon Education Society. This role was very crucial. His role was very crucial. Mr. Said. Played a dynamic role in promoting the Alamein Education Society. As a minister of work, he helped the society to get prime six acres of work land on Siddhar Road, just opposite to Lalba, uh, Lalba, on a 99 years lease, where now the Alamein Education Society and the education complex exist. The land that was leased out to the society had been illegally encroached. Through his perseverance, Dr. Muntaz Ahmed Khan risked his life to remove the encroachment. Slowly, people started appreciating Dr. Muntaz Ahmed Khan's effort. Gradually, Dr. Muntaz Ahmed Khan teamed up to assist him by influencing some well-known personalities like Aziz Said, Justice Akbar Hussain, Mr. Rahmatullah, Mr. Rahmatullah Khan Sahib, Mr. Uh, IAS, and Mr. Rahmatullah Khan. And we have the Bureau Chair and several others who became his advisers. During the same time, in a neighboring Kerala, Dr. Abdul Bafur, who is like Dr. Mumtaz Khan was, was a medical doctor, started a similar education movement and established a Muslim education society, which is called MEM. He was a great visionary and set up many education institutions in Kerala. And with, a, with that. A new era started from South India to educate the Muslims of the country, but unfortunately, sometimes differences crept up. Even between great leaders, differences of opinion triggered between two visionaries, and this affected the union. Formed a separate body, the Alami Education Movement. This is how the management of the Alami Arts Centre and College. And entrusted it to the duly elected body, and took up much bigger task to, of touring the uh, different parts of the country and motivating people for the cause of education. And the motivation, with the result of the motivation, two big institutions: one in Kerala, by headed by T P M Ibrahim Sir, which is equally a very big institution. And another was in Alamein movement in West Bengal, and he took keen interest. Some people came forward, some people they didn't came forward, but his task was to motivate, and he, his motivation has helped to come up several institutions in the country, and, and for his motivation. He identified social workers in different parts of the country and motivated them to, by giving scholarships. He used to establish in various places because it is very difficult to start institution, and he had a novel idea that first give scholarship, motivate the local people to contribute for scholarship. And pay the fees instead of starting 
or colleges so that they we, the poor people will not uh, give up education they will drop it so he has started a formula if the local people contribute whatever they contribute the alumni movement will contribute equal amount and this formula worked somewhere and it, uh, and some some places it was not able to so the initial period which he faced the how the, there was a negativism was there what he was trying to do the negative attitude of the community towards education in promoting education was to be converted into the positive then only success comes so he has undertaken that task by removing the negative feeling among the community that we have to struggle we have to work hard and leave the results to the allah and then we should not start with the negativism that muslims will not do this muslim will not be able to do this yes, all this the negative which prevails in in this community some of you who have not seen those days and now things have changed but those days any work you want to start there will be the elders used to say it is not possible muslims cannot do it it is not uh, we have no money these are the things that this negativity which prevails in the community the greatest contribution of dr mamta is to convert this negativity to the positive that he was mostly attached to cause not to fact when the person was useful to the cause he used encourage them during the late 70 and early 80s in addition to the alumni education society a institution the society focused on development initiative to address economic and social uh, issues of the community there is the alumni hospital alumni medical college altran ifac kbhd aman bank sala publication and several other institution were organized was established then it was felt that it is not only education institution alone we need several other uh, diverse activities to go so these are the institutions which was taken simultaneously along with the education movement these institutions were support to the education movement also to accomplish all this was not possible for an individual alone it required a team of several dedicated persons over the years at different point of time observing dr khan's active involvement a number of people joined him to assist him in his effort hundreds of people were were with him who were sincere and honest with his effort a number of middle and secondary institutions was established one major proof, proof of such uh, successful institution is the alumin institution kochi and kerala the successful functioning of alumin education institution is kochi is due to the alumin movement and initiative and uh, initial and only of the alumin society the alumin education society at kochi which is the pm the plan on the idea it's a meeting in a meeting they discuss and then after some time they said we have a lot of land i think 25 acres of land a bit uh, rubber land those say the need in need land with this land is available but you don't have money so what is the contribution motivation don't worry you take it is and then initial payment has to be made then mr kapar he came tell us we have to give you at that time 50000 rupees as initial payment to buy the 25 acres of land that 50000 he offered that to be they no other company once he initiated motivated that and got initiated they bought it agreement is in that then it is the local people it is their task now they have taken they have to fulfill they have to collect they have to take your business and that is how a valuable growth of this one of properties is kerala alumin similarly we went to kanpur 
and there was a meeting. There was all millionaires were sitting in the meeting. One of the IAS officer who said who is in charge of allotment of land, and they had established an education society. They were running in a house called Sarsayya Education. Then that officer said that I can allot a big chunk of land for education. And uh, you have to pay. Uh, you have to buy. It is at the government cost. There are millionaires sitting in the meeting. Nobody came forward. They said you have to just pay four lakhs in Sri Lanka. Now we were there. Then we said we will advance it from Malabi. So we came. That is how we get a check of four lakh from Malabi society. And that was bought. Then we didn't contribute anything else, and no, no further money. The local people. This is the type of motivation. Once local people they are there already, we have taken the land. Now we should collect it. They collect it. Now, if, if uh, property in Kanpur is there, the college is there, the society society is working. Similar motivation. All over the Karnataka, you see, but wherever a living education institution is there. It is he motivated the local people. That is the greatness he has. It is. I mean, the greatest virtue of the Kumbha Sangha is to motivate the community and uh, awake the sleeping community and to tell them that it is the hard work and contribution and sacrifice alone can achieve this backwardness. That is his mission. Mr. Maksud Ali Khan, Mr. Ismail Bala Khan Sahab, Irfan Alwa and Sadaqat Pina and myself associated with Dr. Sahab in accomplishing the task of establishing various institutes. One of the reasons for the progress of these efforts these effort made was, was the credibility and involvement of the team. You see, you have to have a credibility of the society also. And that only it will come. So we had the team, and the main team has the credibility. credibility. So the beginning of 1990s was the golden era of Alamin movement. And team does several working in, started working in many different sectors. In a period of about three decades or more, it, I was one of the closest associates of Dr. Mumtaz. Most of the decisions and initiatives were by the Dr. Khan. Dr. Muntaz Ahmad Khan, myself, and Dr. Khan have kept himself away from the day to day of the management of the various institutions as he is a man of action. Because he, if a particular in his philosophy is to start a movement, start the institution, motivate them, once that comes up, he disassociates, he will go to some other place. He will not again with it. So, like that, he used to. Motivate. Every human being have, however successful he may be, suffer from some weaknesses also. The far development of Alamin movement and number of institutions that came under the banner of Alamin received widespread attention. While some appreciated this, a few became jealous. The team became very big and backbiting started within the team. Dr. Mukhtar Ahmad Khan, my, my relations were strained due to difference created by our own colleagues. My political rise and my dom dominating role in the movement along with Dr. Kamsa were not liked by some colleagues and they created differences between us and some wrong persons became close and they spoiled some of the relationships. History is full of such incident, instances and Alameen Saga is one such. I always respect Dr. Muntaz Ahmad Khan and admire his zeal and commitment. An important quality of Dr. Muntaz Ahmad Khan was that he was a great persuader, he motivated. Because he has done nothing, he persuades, he, if he will take a toss, because God was kind to him. Because he has no other assigned job like doing this or business or in a, this one. As God was kind to him, he, he, is not, he is not dependent on anything. God was this. So he was he dedicated his full time in this moment. So he his job is every morning get up and what are all tasks there? Every morning from 
seven to nine telephone to each person what has happened, what has happened, what has happened. He used to remind everybody. So some of the, uh, uh, the initial persuasion that helped to build the movement. He is an immense faith in Allah. For him, the cause was important and not the person. The education institution set up under his guidance is is different part of the country. It stands a testimony to his dedication, hard work, and spirit of social service. From Dr. Mumtaz Ahmed, I learned a lot. At times, I when you pass by Alamin College on Lalba Road, I recall the golden days together, building this institution and working for various social work. On litigation and later note. I would like to mention that uh, Munta Ahmed Khan generous treat of savages and sweet from neighboring MTR during our society meeting at Alamein College, which made the bonding between the members of the member. One thing I just want to recollect, the negativism in the... We always used to feel where is the money. Money is very important, but have you come across anybody saying, I have donated one crore, I have donated 50 lakhs, anybody. Such big institutions have come up. Crores of rupees worth of institutions have been built. How could it be possible if tomorrow if you want to start a institution, first say what is where is the money? I recall an instance. Alamin Hospital, which is a testimony for his hard work. We decided that similarly when the, his principal said there is no first village college, similarly at a funeral, we all sat and discussed what our community has, doesn't have a small hospital house. The next moment, he started working and within a one month he formed a trust, Alamein Medical. And contribution is 101, 7 trust is 700. He started, where is the money, how do you do, no, 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 no thinking. Then this is how Allah helped. Then the hospital which is there, some of you might have seen it, there is a old bungalow belonging to Sir Haji Smith's work and that was under rent control and the trustee said if you able to get it from the rent control we will be happy to do we entered into an agreement with them and then God helped how he helped come for then we kept quiet now how to get it from uh, rent control it is under that. So, luckily, the president of the Alevin hospital was Dr. Mr. Humayun Mirza, son of Mirza Ismail. His colleague was the chairman, who was the chief secretary of the state. Then he just mentioned that this is so. Then immediately the chief secretary instructed the agro industries corporation to whom the bungalow was allotted to hand it over back to the trustee. It was an impossible act, but if you have the courage, if you have the positiveness, God will help that vacated and that building came. We were completely then we started a clinic with Dr. Wahid, who is a famous uh, physician and one person got admitted there, a rich man. He, he may have perceived that he said, I will give you one lakh of this donation to this hospital. He gave it in six years, but that motivated him. If he is a man, one lakh he can give the community is big. So from that day we started 
working for the enemy prospect is collecting prizes and we are uh, starting the very big show, one rookie ticket, two rookie ticket and the hospital was, we got a, a, what is this, the architects, everything, big, big plan with it, without money. Then we wanted to inaugurate. And when the, then we went to the governor to inaugurate. Mr. Mohanla Sukhadiya was the governor of here. He said, his secretary said, you are having a project of about 10 crores. How much money you have got? We did have bank balance of even 10 crores. So he was not willing, that is the secretary was not willing to put the paper before the door. When Mr. Ali said telephone to him, he said, the governor came and he did mention in his speech that if I had followed the protocol, you have no money to stop. But I am sure if the Bangalore Muslims give up going to cinema every month, one skip one uh, cinema and then contribute in it as building. And we started the building, we had no money. What to do? Then two lakhs bill, two lakhs is a big amount then. We have to do the contract. One bank man, manager helped and we told that we have no money. What do we, we, have, we have to do it? Then he said, he has all good people, you are all big people associated. You open an account, you issue the check. Without any balance, you issue the check, he honored it. When he honored work started, then people started giving confidence. Then small donation, this donation, yeah, the hospital too. So if he had not taken the initiative, if they, that positiveness, yes, where is the money? The government is correct, yes, where is the money? Everybody is there, but we said yes, resources will come. So this is the uniqueness in all the living institutions. No institute, medical college is started without any money. We have only 30,000 in the bank. We have to give 30 lakhs deposit to be sure to get the medical. Somehow we managed, we got the medical college. These are all the great institutions which is benefiting the community. That if the visionary like Dr. Muttaza Ahmad Rama was not there to motivate it, people would not have joined. So for anyone, there should be a motivator. There should be a positive approach. The community today is suffering because the entire community, the Muslim community, the country has a negativism, total negativism, whether it is politically everything is that, oh now, what is what will happen to us, the BDP is ruling or somebody is ruling or the government is not going to help us. All the dependency we should give it up. We should not depend on anybody in the community. You have to spend on that. You have to spend, uh, pursue your own strength. That is what Dr. Muntaza The great contribution. I am not going to go into detail about the other things of this education and all that. Actions are developing. Why not be? What does it mean? What, what does it mean we don't have it? Can intellectuals make a hai? ग्रेटेस्ट अचीवमेंट is converting the negative attitude of the community to the positive attitude. Those who have taken positive attitude have succeeded. All these institutions who have taken positive attitude and they have succeeded. And that should be projected as to how this, this institution become, why not occur. 
see the motivation of the alumni educational movement in this college, this is a beat. The entire industry is now the decision is made that the way they are should this, how, how, how successfully they are for the education movement they are listing it in. Just that. Motivation of the Kota Sama. Every Karnataka, after 1967-68, all institutions have come with motivation of Olympic. So, it is all the way necessary that such visionaries, leaders who have sacrificed their life for the community should be analyzed, studied, and then I suggest that a research paper should be done. Somebody should do doctorate on Dr. Mamta Sangam, life election. I think if somebody come forward, I think we, we, they can also be helped financially to take us such project. Thank you very much. Thank you. As rightly pointed out to Dr. Khan Sahib, our staff is here. You can ask for the sale. There are many other things. English. Many other things. We are doing the same thing. 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 बेंगलुर की बी टी सादतुलनिसा डिग्री कॉलेज में एक रोजा आलमी सेमिनार बानिय आलमिन तहरीक डॉक्टर मुमताज अहमद खान को खराज अकीदत खराज तहसीन पेश डॉक्टर मुमताज अहमद खान एक ऐसे विजनरी एक ऐसे दूरंदेश एक ऐसे प्लानर एक ऐसे थिंकर जिन्होंने कौम मिलत की तालीमी तरक्की के लिए न सिर्फ ख्वाब देखे बल्कि अपने ख्वाबों ख्यालों को हकीकत में बदल कर दिखाया मुसलमानों में तालीमी बेदारी पैदा की अलमिन तहरीक का असर के न सिर्फ कर्नाटक बल्कि मुल्क की मुख्तलिफ रियासतों में कई तालीमी इदारे कायम हुए आबाद हुए लिहाजा मौजूदा दौर में भी डॉक्टर मुमताज अहमद खान के विजन मिशन को आगे बढ़ाने अलमिन तहरीक अलमिन सोसाइटी को यूनिवर्सिटी के दर्जे तक ले जाने की जरूरत है डॉक्टर मुमताज अहमद खान की शख्सियत और कारनामों पर मुनदा इंटरनेशनल सेमिनार में मुल्क की नाम और शख्सियात ने इन जरीन ख्याल का इजहार किया सात दिसंबर 2023 हजार तेईस बरस जुमेरात बेंगलुरु के बिस्मिल्ला नगर की बीईटी कॉलेज में एक रोजा आलमी सेमिनार मुनद हुआ बीईटी टी कॉलेज की सिल्वर जिबली की मुनासिबत से अलमिन आर्ट साइंस कॉमर्स और लॉ कॉलेज के इश्तराक से ये इंटरनेशनल सेमिनार हुआ नई दिल्ली से आई मुल्क की मारूफ इलमी व अदबी शख्सियत प्रोफेसर अख्तर उलवासे ने सेमिनार का अफ्त किया सबक मरकजी वजीर के रहमान खान ने कलीदी खुतबा पेश किया जबकि सबक रियासती वजीर और बी टी इदारे जात के चेयरमैन आर रोशन बेग ने अफ्ताही जलसे की सदारत की डॉक्टर मुमताज अहमद खान के फर्जंद और अलमीन एजुकेशनल सोसाइटी के चेयरमैन उमर इस्माइल खान केरला से आए टी पी एम इब्राहिम खान अहमदाबाद से आए मारूफ एडवोकेट और गुजरात टुडे अखबार के सदर मोहम्मद सोहेल तिरमीजी तुमकुर यूनिवर्सिटी के सबक वाइस चांसलर डॉक्टर यस शर्मा अलमीन एजुकेशनल सोसाइटी के सेक्रेटरी जुबेर अनवर सेठ बी टी इदारे के सेक्रेटरी सैयद सैफुल्ला ट्रेजर जे शफी और दीगर मौजूद थे के रहमान खान ने मरहूम डॉक्टर मुमताज अहमद खान से अपने देरी ना ताल्लुक पर रोशनी डालते हुए कहा कि नेगेटिव सोच मनफी सोच को पॉजिटिव सोच में बदलते हुए मुकामी लोगों की हौसला अफजाई और रहनुमाई करते हुए डॉक्टर साहब ने रियासत कर्नाटक के मुख्तलिफ शहरों में न सिर्फ कर्नाटक बल्कि मुल्क की चंद दीगर रियासतों में तालीमी इदारे कायम किए जो आज कौम मिलत का बड़ा असासा साबित हुए हैं के रहमान खान ने कहा कि डॉक्टर मुमताज अहमद खान की क्यादत में एक टीम ने जिसके पास न पैसे थे न वसाइल थे लेकिन बुलंद हौसलों बुलंद अजाइम के साथ कई इदारों की बुनियाद रखी 
इस सेमिनार में रहमान खान ने इस तलख हकीकत को भी बयान किया कि चंद हासी दिन और सोसाइटी में मौजूद चंद अफराद ने चुगल खोरी करते हुए डॉक्टर साहब और उनके दरमियान दराड़े पैदा की इस मौके पर प्रोफेसर अख्तर उलवासे ने अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी से डॉक्टर मुमताज़ अहमद खान के ताल्लुक को बयान करते हुए कहा कि डॉक्टर साहब ने डॉक्टर साहब ने यूनिवर्सिटी की तरक्की के लिए गैर मामूली अतियात दिए आपकी उम्मीदें कलील थी लेकिन मकासद जलील थे डॉक्टर एस सी शर्मा ने कुरान मजीद की आयतों और हिंदू मजहब के शलोक पढ़ते हुए डॉक्टर मुमताज़ अहमद खान की खिदमत पर रोशनी डाली सेमिनार में अहमदाबाद से आए एडवोकेट मोहम्मद सोहेल तिरमिजी ने कहा कि 2002 के गुजरात फसादात के मजलूमीन को इंसाफ दिलवाने के लिए डॉक्टर मुमताज़ अहमद खान ने उन्हें तहरीक दी हिम्मत दी आलमी सेमिनार के अफ्ताही इजलास के बाद पैनल डिस्कशन का इनका अमल में आया जिसकी निजामत मारूफ कॉलम निगार मोहम्मद आजम शाहिद ने की इस डिस्कशन में डॉक्टर मुमताज़ अहमद खान की शख्सियत इनके तालीमी मिशन को आगे बढ़ाने के लिए क्या तदबीरें की जाएं, क्या तदबीरें क्या इकदाम किए जाएं, अलमीन एजुकेशनल सोसाइटी की मजीद तरक्की के लिए क्या कोशिशें हों इस पर तबादले ख्याल किया गया जुनूबी हिंद न्यूज़ रिपोर्ट